Hey, Brian Mast, thank you for your U.S. military service, but I can't support you wearing your IDF uniform on Capitol Hill. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a GOP U.S. House rep from Florida, Brian Mast, wearing his Israeli Defense Force uniform on Capitol Hill. Now, I cannot support this at all, although I understand why he did it. I totally get it. I totally understand. And I support his right to defend and support Israel 100%. But wearing a uniform on Capitol Hill as a member of Congress, that might be a little bit too much for me. A tad bit too much. Now, before we get into anything, including him talking about wearing it, let's just show you who Brian Mast is. Now, you see what's going on right here. He's wearing a few awards on his chest from the U.S. military. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you see, he is an above-the-knee double amputee. And there's going to be a few questions. When did he get hurt? Did he get hurt when he was in the Army from 2000 to 2011? Did he get hurt in the IDF? Is he Jewish? Is he not Jewish? Is he religiously Jewish? Is he Christian? We're going to answer all these questions but first things first, let's skip to the video of him wearing the uniform on Capitol Hill. And if you want to see this video in full without my commentary, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Kevin got thrown out. Steve wasn't able to come to the floor. Just that being the case, there's going to be people that are upset at take it out I would say it like this possibly want to take it out on Jim just because that happened I think that's one of the pinnacle obstacles that people face because the reality is uh, like Steve he could be a great leader um, but that's just unfortunately the baby with the bathwater right now what's with your threads today can you tell us anything about those sir so Leaf's got her flag I've got my uniform all right so there you have it Brian Mast talking about wearing a uniform and there's a shot of it right there okay he has on the uniform on Capitol Hill, this is a little bit too much. I understand why he did it. You heard what he said at the end, talking about, well, hey, she has her flag. I have my uniform. I covered the story earlier about Rashida Tlaib flying the Palestinian flag. That right there, outside of her office. So he's saying this is to respond to that. Now, as I said in my video about this, I don't think any other nation's flag aside from the U.S., should be flown. So U.S. military flags, that's cool. U.S. state flags, that's cool. And, of course, the flag of the USA, Stars and Stripes, that's cool. Uh, Palestine, Israel, Ukraine, LGBT, whatever, should not be on Capitol Hill, in my humble opinion. And I said the same thing for your Israeli Defense Force IDF uniform. This is a tad bit too much now. Let's answer a few questions, and then we're going to get into him elaborating on why he wore the actual uniform. Now, this is, like I said from the beginning, that's Brian Mass, double amputee. He got hurt in 2010 during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. And again, I thank him for his service in the Army. He was an explosive ordnance um, technician, and I know I'm saying that wrong. Y'all, please forgive me. I'm trying to remember it. But basically... His job was to defuse explosives, bombs, and everything like that. Now, in the process of doing this, he got blown up. And that's why he got hurt in 2010 in the Army. And he left the Army in 2011. One of those awards right there is a Purple Heart. Okay, so this is somebody that's a well-decorated veteran, 11 years. I thank him for his service to this country. Now, that should be celebrated as an American, not necessarily your time with the IDF, at least not wearing a uniform on Capitol Hill. Now, he volunteered for the IDF in 2015. His job was to pack medical kits and to move some supplies. And as a matter of fact, that's pictures of him right there, literally moving supplies and packing medical kits. That's what he did over in Israel in 2015 now i'm not trying to accuse him of doing anything nefarious but he also announced his run for congress in 2015 
and he won and became inaugurated in 2017 and he's been there ever since. Okay. So you go from the military, you get hurt. Um, you go to Israel, 2015 volunteer. And that same year you were not, you going to run for Congress and you win. That's, that is the timeline. I'm not saying he did it for that reason, but that's the timeline. Now he is not Jewish from what I'm able to see. His mother is Mexican from Mexico. And I think his father is white American and he's a Christian. He goes to church. So he just happened to volunteer. Now, whether it was for a good reason or what, it doesn't matter. That's just the reality. Now, let's get to why he may have done what he did. He's going to explain it. And if you want to see this video in full, link, as always, will be in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Today, Florida Congressman Brian Mast arrived on Capitol Hill wearing his military uniform from his service in the Israeli Defense Forces and came after the squad for their pro-Hamas stance. Mast then posted the image to social media, writing, as the only member to serve with both the United States Army and the Israel Defense Forces, I will always stand with Israel. To okay, look, I mean, that I... You serve in the IDF, but you didn't really to compare to compare your service in the army with with what you did in the IDF is night and day. It's night and day. Eve's got her flag. I got my uniform. That's a pointed reference to the Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib's hanging of the Palestinian flag outside her congressional office and her very vocal support of the Hamas attack on Israel. Let's bring in the man himself, Congressman Brian Mass from the state of Florida, and he sits on that. Here he is wearing it again. I, I don't know, man. Like, if you are in the U.S. Congress wearing a different nation's uniform, I don't, I don't really understand that. Okay, you can be proud of your time over there. You can volunteer. You can help foreign nations. Okay, that's cool. That's totally fine. But you're in Congress, my man, in the U.S. Congress. I've never seen a person in a foreign military, China, Russia, et cetera, et cetera, wear the uniform of a different country. I've never seen that. It doesn't matter if it's an ally or not. I've never in my life seen that. Maybe you guys have seen it. If you have, let me know in the comments. House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, what do you make of these pro-Hamas rallies here in America all over the world, the fact that we actually have people sitting in positions of Congress who seem to agree with what we've seen happen over in Israel. It's as despicable as anybody uh, supporting a Nazi, because these are essentially, as I've said many times, Arab Nazis is what we're dealing with right here. No interest in living alongside Jews, every interest in living alongside them just so long to the point as they can find a way to kill kidnap, kill their children, kill their elderly, uh, you name it. And to the, the point of the uniform, um, what we've witnessed across the country is exactly how I ended up putting on the uniform of the idea of volunteering with Israel, other volunteers in Israel with their military, was because what, what I experienced as a student up at Harvard a number of years ago with people draping themselves in Palestinian flags as yet again Israel was being attacked like they are year after year never by any means to the extent of what we're seeing uh, in, in this most recent week. Having okay, so there's an extended interview. I'm going to link to this, like I said, in the box so you can see it. But that's your man, um, Brian Mast. He is not Jewish. He's a Christian, and he's not ethnically Jewish either, from what I'm able to see. And if that's wrong, I let me know. But as far as I know, his dad, white American, his mom is Mexican from Mexico. So that's what that is. But as I close, I want to say this. I appreciate Mr. Mass for his U.S. military service. And again, I thank you for that, my man. You actually literally got a purple heart because you got hurt doing your job in the military. So I appreciate it. But wearing a different nation's military uniform on Capitol Hill, it might be a little bit too much. I understand the point that you're making. I get it 100%, but I don't think it should happen. The same way I said that Rashida Tlaib, I understand why she did what she did because She's Palestinian, but no other nation's flags should fly. You did what you did. You were over in Israel. You volunteered for Israel. I support that. But no other nation uniform should be worn on Capitol Hill. Am, am I saying a thing that's wrong or 
somehow invalid. I can't tell, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your stance on Brian Mast wearing an IDF uniform on Capitol Hill? Uh, do you appreciate it? Do you not appreciate it? Is it right? Is it wrong? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. That shouldn't be going on. I appreciate him for what he did, for what he has done in the U.S. military and going over there to help them. Great. But I think we need to just focus on America. Okay. Let's, okay. Let's focus on the U S military and U S flags. I, I don't see why that's a bad thing to say. We can have sympathy for other nations, maybe even help other nations, but to wear the uniform and the fly their flags might be a tad bit too much for me, but whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.